Let's talk about India's youngest and most infamous serial killer, Amarjeet Sadda. He was only eight years old when he struck. He preyed on children and his first victim was his sister who was only eight months old. Shortly after murdering her, Amarjeet struck again, murdering his six month old cousin. Even more chilling is that the family and villagers knew about these murders but chose to stay silent. They deemed the killings as internal family issues, not realizing that Amarjeet would soon strike and murder someone outside of his family. In 2007, Junjun Devi, the mother of a six month old baby girl, left her daughter at the school daycare to do her chores. When she returned, she found Found her child was missing. When the news spread, people feared the worst, and since they knew about Amarjeet's past, they confronted him. After being questioned, Amarjeet showed no remorse. He gleefully told the villagers about how he strangled the child to death and then led them to a shallow grave where she was buried. He told them he killed her by beating her with a brick. He then buried her with debris and grass that was around the area and went back home after she was dead. He was arrested for the murder of Kushbu Devi after his confession. Unfortunately, since the family covered up the first two murders, Amarjeet wasn't found guilty of them. Despite this, he was questioned about how he attacked his victims and why. Instead of providing these details, he looked at the police, smiled, and asked if they could give him some more biscuits. He showed no remorse, and whenever the police tried to ask him about the crimes, he would stop talking and smile. Superintendent Amit Loda ordered that the case be looked at from a psychological perspective. Patna-based psychoanalyst Jamshad Hussain looked into the case and found that the child lacked remorse and enjoyed inflicting pain on others, making him a true psychopath. It also seemed that he had a brain issue which led to a chemical imbalance. This in turn led to increased gratification from inflicting pain on others. He was diagnosed with a conduct disorder that was claimed to be hereditary. This led him to commit acts of violence because he had no sense of right or wrong. Amarjeet was tried and according to India's laws, it's speculated that he was sentenced to serve three years in juvenile prison since children can't serve more. It's also speculated that due to his mental state and the extreme threat he posed to society that he was placed in a mental institution after he served his time. Amarjeet's whereabouts are currently unknown, however in 2015 he contacted the post-mortem post. He claimed he was in a children's facility where he would be till he turned 18. Since he would be over 20 now, if his claim is valid, he'd be allowed to leave the facility. It's unclear whether he'll go on to commit more crimes or if he was successfully treated. Some people speculate that Amarjeet wasn't the original culprit and that he was framed for the murders. The nature of the crime and the elaborate hiding spots were too much to have been committed by an eight-year-old child. Despite this theory, the fact that he was excited to reveal what he did and his reaction when he was questioned, it seems that Amarjeet Sadda was, in fact, India's youngest serial killer.